At the top of our show, we outline the five biggest challenges that face us the next 25 years. Again, they're drought, heat wave, erosion, tornadoes, and fire. And we learned how we all can prepare to meet and adapt to them. And that's where technology comes in, finding the big sweeping solutions. But those solutions are likely to cost money, lots of it. Investment in the environment is now a priority of many of this country's leading venture capitalists. I went out to California recently to see why one top investor believes putting his money into green can yield big profits for the environment and for business. Plenty of pancakes. Do you like pancakes, Ginger? Yeah, Venture capitalist Paul Holland knows his way around an organic pancake. We have pancakes left over. It's a tiny nod at the very big way this former software guru is steering his family life and his business life toward living and investing in a greener world. The sun's coming in from the east now, so we'll get the sense of what light's going to feel like as it comes into our bedroom. And so we've got in Silicon Valley, south of San Francisco. Holland and his wife, Linda Yates, are in the planning stages of building the greenhouse of their dreams. You get a sense of why we're building the house up here, because this, uh, this is our view. It's essentially its own energy factory, so the house will be environmentally regenerative at some level. We're creating enough energy for the house and for the cars. And while this electric car still depends on the grid. This is the 21st century school bus. Already, the family is practicing its morning drive to school as an opportunity to get off fossil fuels. But that's still a work in progress. Okay, ready to get into my very non-green car and go to work, so. So what drives Paul Holland as a successful venture capitalist, investing other people's money and his own in new projects? We're really, really focused on energy efficiency. We think that's a huge win there. His company, Foundation Capital, is arguably among the top venture capital firms in the world in terms of results. It has invested $2.5 billion in startup companies over the last 13 years. We see a lot of uh, business plans around renewable energy sources. And in the last five years, $150 million of that has gone into so-called clean tech ventures. Welcome to the world of eco-capitalism. Ten years ago, right. you work a lot with business students, yeah. you have business school students, mm -hmm. engineering school students. That's Ten correct. years ago, they were developing internet type companies. That's correct. But today, yep. it's different. Today, it's clean tech. I mean, if you're coming out of Stanford Business School or the engineering school at Stanford, nine out of ten of those students had an internet business plan, right? And we go see them, I've got this on shopping.com, da, 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 da. Now, that whole thing is switched. What primarily is driving the need for change? I kind of call it the hammer and the anvil that come to play. And number one, very high real and absolute energy cost. Oil at $110 a barrel, it's unprecedented that we would experience something like this in our lifetimes. High energy cost is a big, big driver. But then the other side, sort of the anvil that the hammer's banging into here is the moral imperative around climate change. That's creating governmental initiative, that's creating passion among consumers. A lot of buzz around clean tech. Right. I'm not sure we fully understand it and how people are gonna make money in it, but uh, we figure we at least pick your brain before we before we dive into an initiative. These economic and public policy changes are creating big opportunities to make money, and thousands of hopefuls come to venture capitalists like Holland looking for advice and money to fund ideas that range from the more conventional, like smart utility meters and rubber tire recycling, to the more unusual, like biofuels made out of algae. You have about, what, 1,000 ideas coming to your company? On any year? We get exposed to about 1,200 a year. We narrow that down very quickly to about maybe 300. We invest in roughly 12 to 15 of those. So about 1% of the things we see we invest in. And of that 1%, a quarter of those investments are green, with a strong focus on improving existing energy efficiency rather than creating something brand new. If you divide the world in two pieces as far as clean tech is concerned, you've got very broadly speaking the demand side and the supply side. Supply side, we understand. It's new solar cells, it's new biodiesel and so forth. That's very exciting. It's not as appealing to us as early stage venture investors. The demand side, we can influence, we can put our hands on. So we can come and create new technologies, new networking technologies, new software solutions that help manage demand and help create the, a more efficient use of energy. Serious Materials is one of the chosen ones. It received $50 million in startup funds from Foundation Capital and other investors for its next generation drywall called EcoRock. 
which could save up to 25 billion pounds of greenhouse gases a year nationally by not using the traditional gypsum, which produces carbon dioxide. That fits neatly into Holland's vision of a startup worth supporting. Do you have a dream picture of where you would like to see us headed as a society? Uh, I have a dream picture, but it's in a fairly sort of writ small because I work at the individual level of these companies. From my perspective, if we could just become way more efficient about the way we use our current flows of energy, we can solve an enormous amount of the problem that we're being faced with today. Okay, everybody out. Everybody out. Devin, you got your report? I'm the father of three daughters, so they're nine, seven, and six. Okay, you got your flip. When I'm 90 and I'm talking to their children, I want to feel I did the responsible thing for my era, and that's part of what I'm trying to do. Your report is in your backpack, okay? Just get it out right when you get there, okay? All right, love you. Have a good day. Within the high-risk, high-reward, high-wire act of being a venture capitalist, today there's a new breed, like Paul Holland, seeking not only a big paycheck, but a big environmental payoff as well. Coming up, learn what not to throw away with the trip to the landfill. Glass, metals, plastic. And he's one of the world's leading environmentalists, but whatever you do, don't call him that. I don't like using the word environmentalist. Learn why when Forecast Earth returns. <laughs>